Good morning. If you have one of these programmable thermostats because you were a Gulf Power Energy Select program, then you know that very recently the website where you program your thermostat has been disabled. If you try to log in, it will simply give you an error message and time out. FPL still has the broadband guides, which you can look at, and a list of frequently asked questions. I will post this link in the notes below the video, but what I want to do right now is show you how to fix your thermostat so that it will work. I'm going to back up a little bit here, try to work the mouse and the camera, but you can see that there's, you know, it's not too many pages, but there's functionality built into this thermostat that really needs to be disabled in order to make it more useful for you, easier for folks in the house to program it. So. Well, let me show you what that looks like. Pardon my house. My wife has no idea I'm making this video. All right, so here's our thermostat. Beautiful little energy select. Thermostat used to work so good. I'm gonna stand to the side here so as to avoid reflection. So you can see we've got this light on top here that lights that up. And there's a lot going on here in the thermostat one main thing to note is that you've got your wi-fi connection here and you've got this indicator here telling you what price level you're at uh, the way the energy select program worked it was a time of use program so you had a low period in the middle of the night a medium period and a high period you basically had different pricing tiers so customers were you know organizing their lives around the pricing tier so for example you might try to uh, have your hot water heater shut off during the high period your pool pump wouldn't run during the high period that kind of thing anyway now that you can't log in and you can't program the thermostat if you come in here and set these it will still follow the program you had when the system was last disabled so <laughs> you might set the temperature but then the thermostat might go and change it and that's not always what we want so I'm going to show you real quickly how to fix the situation and enjoy that logo because it is now gone all right so what you do firmly grasp this unit and just gently pull you might have to firmly pull and then when it comes off you're gonna see there's a wiring a harness right here and then there's pins on the back of this unit that's where it plugs in this right here is the bit that Gulf Power used to communicate with the thermostat. You don't need that anymore. And that thing is what's causing it to keep resetting. So what you do is just lift that up and you can see it's got these pins right here. And then, oh, pardon me, I'm trying to do this while holding the phone. Stick it back in, it'll only fit one way. And you'll see it'll power up, it might take it a minute. It's gotta go through its little boot process. It's, probably running some primitive operating system in there. You can kind of see it starting up now. There's a little blue light on top. And now you can see a lot of information is gone. It's no longer on the internet. It's no longer gonna reset itself. And you can hit plus and minus right here to change the temperature. And as soon as you do that, it'll say hold. And once you get it to the temperature you want, then you hold down, whoop, where would it go? I've got it on heat. Yep. All right. Ah. I'm going to hit system. Oh, that's still booting up. That's what's going on here. All right. Give it just a minute to finish booting up. I'm actually going to take this little converge thing. I'm turning it around backwards. It normally goes in like this. Now I'm going to turn it around. I'm just going to kind of drop it there. It's not actually going to plug in. It's just going to sit there. That way I don't lose it. All right, we should be back now. So I'm gonna get the temperature here. And it says temporary hold at the top. I'm not sure how long this boot cycle is. When I was doing this the other day, it let me come in. Ah, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, just, you can see it's got some different things are popping up here. So I'm gonna come back down here. What we're trying to do is get rid of that temporary hold, and I'm not sure which one of these buttons it is. So I'm gonna leave it alone. After I've set the temperature, I'm just gonna leave it alone. 
Stop pressing the buttons. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna hit menu. And you can see we've got clock, schedule, other done. We don't want any of those. Hit run. Now it says hold ended. All right, I come back and we'll set the temperature. Okay, that's what I was looking for. See where it says perm down here? You wanna press and hold. Ah, my goodness, this is frustrating. I guess I was too slow. <sighs> the thermostat's a little, little frustrating. All right, so if you hit run, that puts it back on the program that says hold ended. Set the temperature you want. I want 69 and then quickly, apparently, press the permanent button. Oh, and that wasn't the right button. You see how the buttons, the word is right here, but it's not exactly next to the button. So I got the wrong one. So we'll go back to run. Get down to temperature. I like to keep it about 69. Now I'm going to press and hold the bottom button. There we go permanent hold that's what you're looking for so now this thing is going to keep your temperature it's not going to change on you and if somebody else in the house is you know wants to adjust the temperature they can just adjust it and as long as it says permanent hold the thermostat will behave correctly all right so i'll post the link to the uh, documentation that they've shared under the video um, it's too bad that they ended the program it really saved us a lot of money and it was kind of fun. We felt like we were helping the environment in addition to keeping our bills low. So carry on. Good luck with your thermostat.